Okay, Shalom. We are um, okay. Welcome, everybody. We're we're uh, we're on our pre-Pesach series on erev Pesach. Uh, traditionally. And this is a very, very, very widespread minog. In fact, I don't know about anybody, anybody who doesn't do this. Uh, the the heir of Pesach is considered uh, fast of the firstborn, Tanis Bechoros. And uh, most people are knowing to uh, join a siyum that takes place uh, in the shul after davening. And um, <clears throat> The uh, the question that Rav Moshe Feinstein was asked was, is it possible to make a siyum, the kind of a siyum that somebody who was a firstborn that would only be able to eat at a at a Sudas mitzvah, um, is it able? Are you able to do that after learning a sefer of Nach? What's interesting about the the uh, Rav Moshe Feinstein is that is that he he digs into what's the core of the of the siyum masechet. He also um, he also uh, we can also see in this tshuva Rav Moshe Feinstein's style, which is to get right to the core the core of the issue from primary sources. That's Rav Moshe Feinstein's style. Um, without further ado. Okay, this is a picture of Rav Moshe Feinstein. I try to use only pictures that are in the public domain. So this was a picture when he was in Eretz Yisrael once, and there was a kind of a gathering there. And uh, and uh, and there he was. I forget what what it was. Uh, who was sponsoring it? This is the well-known uh, uh, Shar of of Rav Moshe Feinstein, and you can see. You can see the person already on the title page. Sefer Egos Moshe Arachayim Veheim Mashe Chanani Hashem Isbarach Lahashiv Lasholim Osi Mitalmidai VeChaverai Tavar Hashem Zualacha. This is what Hashem Isbarach has has uh, given to me out of His grace um, to respond to those people who ask me questions, my students, my friends, asking Tavar Hashem Zualacha. And also are, are his uh, correspondence with other Tamir Chachamim, to, to enjoy the Divrei Torah. A great mace, Moshe Feinstein, Rabbi Mesifta Tiferes Yisrael, in New York, Milofanim Abbeistin, Lyuban, Plach, Minsk, and the son of the great Rav David, uh, Rav David Feinstein, his son is also named Rav David Feinstein, Shaya Bastin, Abbeistin, Kadosh Uzda, Ustarabin, Borussia, New York. Um, we could spend hours and hours talking about Ramosha Feinstein's personality. Uh, I just, I like this biography that appeared on the OU site because it gave you a picture of, of uh, Ramosha Feinstein as a, uh, as a, as a POSIC. Um, Yeah, here's the, he, he summarizes a little bit from the introduction of Rav Moshe. An idea of his attitude regarding the rendering of halachic decisions can be gleaned from his introduction to the Egros, Egros Moshe. He writes that he feels suspended and torn between two verses cited by Rav Huna Bar Abba in the name of Rav Huna, Rabim Chalalimi Pila, she, she destroyed multitudes. This refers to a Talmud Chacham who did not reach the level to render decisions, meaning he wasn't, he wasn't fit for paskening, who nevertheless renders halachic decisions. Yet, and vast was the number of those she killed. Um, you know something? I think I, I, uh, I switched the psukim. Sorry about that. Uh, this refers to a Talmud Chacham who has reached the level of rendering halachic decisions, meaning he's, he's a great Talmud Chacham, but he doesn't issue them. And all the more so for one such as myself, who does not know sufficient Torah and wisdom, perhaps I should have refrained from rendering decisions and certainly from publishing them. 
But Rav Moshe writes that he came to the conclusion that if the Talmud Chacham invests all of his effort, deliberates with all his mental energy, combined with fear of heaven, he is not required by Hashem necessarily to arrive at the absolute truth or with he is helped by heaven to accomplish that. Um, again, these are come, some of the some of the chuvas that he that he writes. Um, I just want to just want to share. If I'm not mistaken, there was a a New York Times article where they interviewed Rav Moshe Feinstein and they asked him, uh, "How did you become such a great, how did you, such a popular posik, such somebody so so uh, so well accepted?" So he said, "If a person comes and he wants to know what the halacha, what Hashem wants him to do." And he leaves there getting a feeling that number one, he's getting a truthful representation of the halacha. And number two, he knows that he can live with that. And he will be able to live with that in his life to transmit that into his life. So he's gonna come again. So that was his, that was his response. Now, um, this was written, but I, I would like to learn the tshuva inside uh, and and let let the, the the dynamic of the tshuva emerge. Here's the question. It's uh, it's it's asked by uh, Rav Moshe Yisachar Goldberg Shlita. I do not know who that is. Um, Rabbi Eisenberg, you heard of him? I'm just not familiar with who he is. Now. Bidvarim yesh la hachshiv suras mitzvah liftor ha bechorim meatanis erev pesach. Is it considered a suras mitzvah to the degree where somebody was a firstborn and really has to fast? And he was only able to, uh, he would only be able to uh, eat if it was at a suras mitzvah. So it has to be a bona fide uh, suras mitzvah or lechol basarmi rosh chodesh avaratanis. Or to eat meat from Rosh Chodesh Av until the Tainus. If, if, if it's that kind of a Suras Mitzvah, even if a group learns Mikra, learns Tanakh Be'iyun, and, and the Rav in the Shir, in this Nach Shir, um, what's a famous Nach Shir? Uh, Rav Reisman, I think, is in New, in, in New York from uh, Torah Vadas. That's considered a famous nachshir. Um, if you can, if you can imagine a, a shir where they where they go through nach. I was going over this with my son Shmuel. So I told him, imagine the Sefer Shmuel. Somebody learns the Sefer Shmuel. Um, now, um, <clears throat> a lot of times the questioner himself is a Talmud Chacham. And he writes what he thinks should be the answer to the, to the question, but he wants to hear what Ramosha says. So, so he says, Shadas, now, Kvod Toroso Haram or something like that. I, 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 I neglected to check up in the uh, abbreviation book. Shagam Zenech Shav Suras Mitzvah. You thought that it is a Suras Mitzvah. Kisiyum Maseches, just like a Siyum Maseches. Usually the standard thing is for somebody to do a siyum maseches on, on, a, uh, on a masecht of Gemara or on a seder of Mishnayas. Those are the, those are the standards. And obviously, kavachomer, kavachomer, somebody who does shas Mishnayas or a siyum shas. But the standard siyumim are a masecht of Gemara and a seder of Mishnah. So you thought that it, would, it, it should be okay. Why? Ukeha de chazinan she'osim suda legomra shel Torah b'kriya sator b'simchas Torah. Our minhag is that we make a big deal out of Simchas Torah. We have a whole festivity on the on, on Simchas Torah, which in Eretz Yisrael coincides with Shmini Atzeres, and in Chutzlar it's the second day of, of Yom Tov, Shmini Atzeres and Simchas Torah, the last day of the of the of the Sukkos period, and that's based on uh, on a medrash in Shira Shirim. It's in the very first section of Medrash Rabbah Shira Shirim, Shira Shirim Rabbah Aleph. Tet. And um, and it's brought by the Tur and by the Ramah 
from the Beis uh, Yosef, Hevim Midrashir Hashirim, Asmachta Mikra de Vayas Mishta de Shlomo. Shlomo Amelech um, had a dream in there, he was given uh, wisdom by Akodesh Baruch Hu, and after he, he got that wisdom, so then he came and he made a, 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 a festive a festive uh, celebration for his whole, for all of his avodim. And, and then after it, after it mentions the Pasuk about Shlomo HaMelech's uh, festivity after receiving, if you will, uh, complete wisdom from HaKadosh Baruch Hu, so then we say, Mikan shosim suda legmora shel Torah. We see that you make a suda for completing Torah. So that's the source of a siyum. But you see that in the core, it seems to be, and you look at the fortune of the Midrash, Gomra Shel Torah is referring to, to finishing up the Torah and Simchas Torah. And, uh, and so you see it's Lav Davka Torah Shabal Peh, Lav Filo Torah Even the written Torah, meaning even, even the, the finishing of Kriya Torah at the end of the year, even though the Midrash does not say Simchas Torah, and it doesn't say necessarily Chamisha Chum uh, Torah, but it says Gomra Shel Torah, and and the Meforshim, uh, they're they're connect this with probably because it just says Gomra Shel Torah, it doesn't say Masechta, uh, doesn't say other words that might have been very clearly referring to something about Torah Shabbat Peh. So you see that it's even Torah Shabbat Sav. Now. Uh, one of the dynamics of this tshuva is that is that he he weighs a proof and then he brings the counter. So here's the proof. The source for a siyum is in Medrash Yerushim, based on based on uh, on Shlomo Melech, and you see that it was about Torah Shabbat so it should apply to a Sefer of Nach. Rav Moshe counters, Hine af shevadai ain't the raya brura. That's not a clear raya. The Kriya Satora, Shehu Kviyus L'chol Yisrael, Av Sharshani. Kriya Satora, for all of Klal Yisrael, finishing the Torah together, finishing the Chumash after a whole year of Kriya Satora, uh, all the parshas, so maybe that's different. So maybe when when a group of people in uh, in a shul somewhere in Netanya have gone through uh, Sefer Shmuel over over two years and they've had shirim on that every week, so that's like all of Klal Yisrael finishing all of Klal Yisrael everywhere finishing Kriyas Torah. I want to add, by the way, um, Shlomo Hamelech made a celebration. So on the one hand, he was an individual. On the other hand, uh, the Ramam writes about the Melech, that the Melech is the lave of Klal Yisrael. So it could be when the Melech got uh, wisdom from HaKadosh Baruch Hu, it was like all of Klal Yisrael, meaning the person at the core of Klal Yisrael got, uh, got wisdom. So also, you can't necessarily make a proof uh, from Shlomo HaMelech and Kriya Satora. However, Rav Moshe himself uh, says, It seems to me, that it's still true. Learning the books of Torah Shebech Sav in depth, You could consider the Siyum a Suras Mitzvah. Any mitzvah which lasts for a long time, there's joy in its finishing. Let's learn this next part inside. Uh, the Gemara brings, um, I think it's five different reasons for the celebration of Tubav, the 15th of Av. 
And one of them is that of Rabbi Rabbi Yosef, who were the, the two Gedolei Ador in their generation. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Damri Tavau, they both said together, Yom Sheposkimbo Milichros Eitzim Lamaracha, that that uh, Tuba of the 15th of Av was the day that they finished uh, cutting the wood for the Mizbeach, the, the wood that was set up, the Maracha, the, the uh, special bonfire that was set up on the Mizbeach. Now, um, the reason why Tuba of was, was that day is, is brought as follows. Tanya, Rabbi Eliezer Agadol Omer, the strength of the sun now begins to weaken. So it's certainly it's very hot. It's, it's in summer, 15th of Av. But that's the point where there's a transition and the sun's heat now begins to weaken. And after that point, they didn't cut wood for the Maracha. So that's the point in the season where they finished cutting the wood. Um, that's the day that they, uh, that they, just a minute. Sorry. Give me a moment. Your patience. Yeah. The day that they broke the axes, Yom Tavar Magal, uh, the Rashbam explains, Shein Sarachot Behem Lachtov Eitzim. You don't need any more, uh, you don't need those axes anymore to do any wood chopping. So, um, Mikan ve'elach demosif Yosef, she'ena mosif Yasef. Meaning, those people that add learning from that on, because the nights are going to get longer, the nights are going to get, excuse me, the nights are going to get longer from then on. Uh, so those people that add their learning, so they will add to their days. And she'ena mosif Yasef, those people that don't add to their learning, Yasef, they'll be. Ma Yasef, Tani Rabbi Yosef, Tikvarei Imei. Now, um, the, the Rashbam says that that day, Oso Yom Shabbosku, Hayu Smechim, they were joyous. Why? Lefishiba Oso Yom, Hayu Mashlimim Mitzvah Gedola Kazos. That day was a joy because they finished that mitzvah. So says Rav Moshe, Tuba Av is a model for celebrating completing a mitzvah that involves a long process. So there's no difference between, between finishing a Sefer of Nach and cutting the wood for the Mizbeach. And we were trying to figure out what would be another example of, of, a, law, of a mitzvah that involves a long process. So I thought maybe writing a Sefer Torah. So again, we have something called the Hachnasa Sefer Torah, but it could be that another two sides, there's two sides to a Hachnasa Sefer Torah that we have. One is the long process of completing the writing of a Sefer Torah. And we're joyous about that. Similar to the way the long process of, of, of finishing cutting the wood of the, of the Mizbeach uh, and the long process of, like Rav Moshe says, learning, a, learning some type of, some type of, of unit of learning. Uh, and then there's another thing of that, there's now another Sefer Torah that we're going to be bringing into our shul. Um, they would they finished this great this great mitzvah. Now, um, 
here I just want to point out something parenthetically. Uh, parenthetically, uh, 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 take a look from from above uh, for a moment. There's 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 two different sources that we've seen so far for a seal. Ramosha is saying that Tuba Av is a source for the Siyam. And the Midrash and Shira Shirim is a source for a Siyam. It could be that the Midrash and Shira Shirim focuses on Torah. And this is a broader focusing on a mitzvah process. And Shlomo Melech, it wasn't a long process. He had a dream, he wakes up, and he's full of chokhmah, and he celebrated it. So it, it, it could be that there's two, two differences between these two aspects of a siyum. One aspect is celebrating a, a, a mitzvah that involves a long process, the finishing of that long process, as opposed to Torah, where it's about the unit. And let's say somebody, somebody learned a whole masechta in one night. Also, he'd make a he'd he he'd, he'd make a seal masechet. Um, the Gemara tells us that uh, that uh, Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel was uh, was 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 uh, lying down asleep, and he heard somebody outside his window uh, learning out loud masechet uktin, and he realized that uh, there's probably something special going on. And so he paid attention and he learned Masech HaZuchzin that whole night. And uh, the next morning, sure enough, there were uh, questions from some of the Tanoim about Masech So um, a one night learning Masech So maybe there it's, it's like Shlomo HaMelech. You know, it all happened in one night. He did it all. So it could be that there's two things going on. Number one is a unit of Torah study, Gomra Shel Torah, and number two, a, a long process mitzvah. Now, there is a possible objection to this also. Why? Wait a second. We don't have a mitzvah to have a suda on, 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 uh, on Tuba'av. We just don't say Tachnun. And it's also to fast. So who says that a that uh, that this warrants a suda's mitzvah? And maybe maybe even during the times of of, of the Beis Hamikdash when they were cutting the eighteen lamaracha and tuba came, so maybe they also didn't do any any suda on the end of on tuba. Why? They also just made a Amir Yom Tov, not to fast. There wasn't special people that did the whole mitzvah. Ella, Zemeat, Vezemeat. It tells us all different days that people would have a, would, would, uh, would cut wood. Um, and so over the year, over the, over the summer, the wood would be cut a little here, a little here. Some people do this, some people would do this. Until they finished. Two they finished. And the finish was all of Klai Yisrael as a whole. There was no individual that did this whole thing from beginning to end. It wasn't like my example where a, a sofer uh, wrote a Sefer Torah from beginning to end. Uh, even though, as far as I know, I don't know that, that, uh, that we have a, a mitzvah to make a suda there either. But uh, that was just my speculation. But but uh, we're we're suggesting here that if if this group of people does uh, learns this this sefer of Nach uh, over a period of time that they would make a suda. So from from Tubav, all we have a proof for is that it's a yom tov to the degree where you can't fast. The jump from there to you have to make a suda is not so simple. True, it was for all of Klai Yisrael, but it wasn't the Suda, it was only not fasting. And for us, not, not saying Tachanu. Um, so says, says Rav, Rav Moshe, no, no, no. Tubav is a model for a Siyam. Why? 
אבל על כל פנים יש ללמד מזה, יש ללמוד מזה שיש uh, לעשות שמחה לגמר כל מצווה, שמחה. No, you should make a, a, a celebration of, of ending, up, ending every mitzvah. ולכן באנשים מיוחדים, when there was a special group, שעושים מצווה משך זמן, that they did a mitzvah all for, for a period of time, יש להם לעשות סודה לשמחה סם, they should make a סודה out of their joy, כי שמחה אחרת, כמו לעשות סס היום ליום טוב, לא שייך ביחידים. They can't make a יום טוב. You can't have... <coughs> You can't have a, small, a group of people that makes a Yom Tov. It's one thing when you have something that's for all the Klai Yisrael to make a Yom Tov. Aval Suda, to make a meal, Seuda HaMatzinu Chosim Yechidim Ligmar Mitzvah Sam, B'Siyum Maseches. We do see in Halacha that, that you do make a Siyum for, for uh, finishing off a Masechta. V'Ukmochein Hu Ligmar Mitzvah Cheres. The same thing should be true for finishing another Mitzvah. You see that you make a simcha at the end of every mitzvah, and you also see that there is such a siyum in the, uh, uh, a simcha at a siyum masechta, so it should also apply when a group of yachinim get together and they finish some other mitzvah. Oh, now here, this next line, even if you don't agree with what he said before, Still, this next line is very difficult to, to, uh, to get around. Even though they didn't obligate a suda, when they finished cutting the wood for the maracha, the way we said it, because they would do it a little bit here and a little bit there, and that was simply the day when all of Israel, all the, all the stuff was finished. But Let's say they did make a suda. Let's say in, in, in somewhere in the middle of, uh, of, of Bayez Sheni, there was a, a, a specially uh, enthusiastic group that had finished cutting the, the wood for the Marocha, and they got together on Tubav, and they made a whole Suda Smith. They, uh, they got some Tanoim together, they got some Kohanim together, they got some, uh, some uh, they, they brought in some Anim, they found some Nevim, there was some not Nevim. They brought some, uh, you know, some people with Ruach HaKodesh, whatever. They all got together and they made a suit. They made a, excuse me, they made a suit. Antuba. It would be considered a suit as mitzvah. So um, that's hard to escape. That's very compelling. So um, Tuba ends up being the model for a seal. And then it would follow that it wouldn't necessarily be a masech. Now, the gra, the ayin beha gra, your adea self simon reishman vav, see if got nine vav, show chiach me arash bam, laze, shebesium masech, it's sort of trickingly small, terrically small, many great students mitzvah. So the gra brings um, that rash bam about tuba of as the raya for the shulchan arch's siyum masechta. The rama brings it. Haga. Now, the Memra of Abaye, excuse me, uh, sorry, the, we'll, we'll, we'll end up doing these three sources. Number one, uh, and, and here we're, We'll do this out of order because, because one aspect of the gra is what we read before. Uh, in this liquid that they bring from the gra, so when it talks about doing a siyum in, in the Shulchan shul, Archa, again, it's in the Ramah. So he quotes that Rashbah. And that day, they uh, <clears throat> they made a uh, they made a special simcha because they finished this great mitzvah. So that's the that's what we read before. So the gra brings tuvav as a model for a siyum when the shulchan aruch talks about it. However, the the most direct source which we haven't mentioned yet because Ramosha didn't really mention it yet, is the most direct source for a Siyam Masechta is Abaye. 
Amar Abaye, now there's a list of people in, in Masech the Shabbos that are talking about all sorts of special things that they did, uh, Amaroyim, all sorts of things that they did that, that, that brought them special schar. So Amar Abaye, tastily, I get special schar. When I saw a Talmud Chacham, Surba Mirabanan is, a, is a, one of the words for a Talmud Chacham. Surba means a firebrand. So, uh, a Masechta, when he finished his Masechta, Avinna Yom Tov the Rabbanan. I made a Yom Tov for the Rabbanan, for the Talmudim. Abai says, says, uh, says Rashi was a Rashi Shiva, and he, um, and he would make a celebration for that. So that's the most direct source. So we have three different sources for a seal. Number one, the Midrash and Shira Shirim, Shlomo Amelech, Osim, uh, Suda the Gomra Shel Torah. Uh, just a minute, comment. Maybe, maybe Tzurba Mirabanan, uh, a young Taman, young Taman Chacham Baran. I think you're right, Ariel. Maybe because it uses that. Maybe people are fiery in their youth. I'm not sure. Um, so, uh, so one was uh, Shlomo Melech who got his chachma. He made a siyum for a, a, a suda for all of his uh, for all of his avodim and. Uh, which was all the clients, really. And, uh, and the Medrash there says, oh, seems suited to the Shulto. Number two, um, Tuba'av is a model, and that's uh, a mitzvah that involves a long process, and that's the one that Rav Moshe is, is focusing on, and that's the one the, uh, the Vilna Gon quotes, the Rosh Bam there. And the third is Abayi. When he saw it, Sir Rabbanan who finished, who finished the Masechta, so he made a Yom Tov the Rabbanan. So, um, and that's the one that, that is quoted in the parentheses after the Ramah mentions it. But it also quotes in Emuke Yosef um, on that Gemara in Baba Basra. He quotes Tuba'av. Um, He quotes the Gemara about Tuba'av, explains it, talks about learning in the nights, the terrible things about somebody who doesn't learn, and then, Kasavti um, I wrote this, Lishnei To'alot, Hayotzim, there's two things that come out of that, two, two purposes, two, two goals I have to communicate. Leot zariz la'atchil v'likvoa talmudo v'leilot elo. During these nights, you should be very, very careful when the, when the nights start to get longer to make sure you set up a seder at night to learn. Le'avil la bracha v'lo klala, to bring a blessing to yourself, like it says, ki uchayecha v'yorech yamecha, and not a klala, God forbid. Vigam, and this is the key line here that the that the the Gra brings, and it's brought in the already in the parentheses that ex, that show the sources of the Rama. Vigam shehu minhag lismoach beinyan mitzvah ad kishe hishlima osin simcha omishta v'yom tov. To the degree where you finish it. You make simcha umishte uviyomtov. So that's clearly a suda. Simcha umishte uviyomtov. Right? He's quoting the law, the, he's quoting Purim, Purim language. So that's an amukhi yosef, is another, it's another lasha. Now, uh, the end of the tshuva. Umafurish ben amukhi yosef, baba basra sham, stam, bechol mitzvah shishlim osim simcha umishte uviyomtov ayin sham. Meaning, so, so, so you, there's nothing you can't get caught up in. Oh, all you did was do a seum a sefer of nach. No, where does that come from? It's true. It is more rare to see a seum that's not a seum a sechta or a seder of mishnayos. But when it gets to the sources of a of a seum, so the three sources that are brought uh, about a seum, only one of them, the one about Abaye, mentions. Asil Masechet, 
which sounds like it has to do with 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 the, with the unit of Torah Shabbat, uh, assuming that the same word we use uh, uh, a masechet for a unit for a, for a, for a masechta of the of the Talmud. So that was what Abai was using. Assuming that the terminology hasn't radically changed, but those other two sources, Tuba Av and Gomra Shel Torah, so they seem to be to be open to a less rigid uh, Torah Shabbat Pe oriented seal. And that's what Moshe is building on. Vim Kane. Vadai Yesh um Vadai Yeshla Main Mize Shegam Limud Mikra Bachabura that learning Tanakh in a group, Shinim Shachizis man that lasts for a certain amount of time, Shalo Garami Kul Mitzvah Sheesh Lasos Simcha Mishta. That is no it's no worse than any other mitzvah where that you should celebrate with uh, with joy and and uh and a mishnah v'hi nechshavas sudas mitzvah kishe gomrim also is a sefer kishe lamdo biyu when you finish a sefer and you learn it uh, in depth. Now uh, he adds in some words at the end, which uh, I assume yesh dvarim bego. I assume there's something, there's some subtext here. Aval pashut shurak kishe lamdo lefi kipi perush events. That's only if you learn it with a true commentary. Shu ke echad mi perush rabbi seinu arishonim. Where he learns it from one of the books of the Rishonim, he learns it from the Radak, he learns it from Rashi, he learns it from the Malmi, whatever. Malmi is an Akron. But not some people, Sheruban, Baduin, most of them are just making up stuff. Veina Memes, it's not true. Sometimes you'll find things that aren't according to the Abuna of, of Chazal. Uh, Yedido Moshe Feinstein, his friend Moshe Feinstein. Um, it is well known uh, a uh, an anecdote about uh, Moshe Feinstein about a seal that there was a. Uh, this, I'll just I'll just repeat it uh, um, for those who might not have heard it. There was a there was a. I just thought about it now, uh, and I hope I get the details right. There was a there was a boy who who. Uh, became involved in in learning, and uh, he became a yeshiva bacher. And uh, his father got interested in in what his son was doing, and uh, and his father, you know, told his son he wants to like he wants to like join him in the yeshiva. But the father uh, uh, had had not learned uh, throughout his life, and. So they they set him up with chavrusas, but it was a long haul, and it was like pulling teeth. And and he ended up um, after me, after an extended period of time finishing one daf of Gemara. And uh, and they asked Rav Moshe Feinstein, "Can this man, this this older man, the father of this uh, yeshiva bacher, who would be?" I assume it was like like we would refer to him as a as a um, Can this can this father can they make a siyum on one one daf of Gemara? And uh, and Ramosha says uh, yes they can and I'll join it. And uh, and sure enough they had the siyum. And uh, as the anecdote anecdote goes uh, that. Uh, that the the elderly man passed away the next day. Um, the uh, sort of Moshe, of course, is consistent here, um, and uh, and uh, and when a when a when a learning is a is a long process, so it's true. Abai talked about finishing a masechta, but the model of tuba and uh, gomra shel Torah doesn't say gomra shel Torah might be all of Torah. But the model of Tuba is a celebration when there's a mitzvah that is a long process. So that would be right, could be Rav Moshe in, in context. If I'm not mistaken, Rav Soloveitchik, uh, he made a, uh, he made a siyum after they, for an extended period, learned a parak of cooling. Uh, and just, uh, you should learn me well, uh, I was in Gemara Shira. There was a period in Chappelle's where I taught the uh, where I taught the opening shear, the guys who just began learning, and uh, and and sometimes I had people who who had uh, extremely little background 
in uh, in Gemara learning. And uh, one day we were we were learning, and we got to the bottom of, of an Amur, and a guy in Shir, he raised he he raised his voice and he says, "Guys, I just finished the first uh, page of Gemara that I ever learned in my life." And uh, and so I said, "Tomorrow we're going to have a little celebration." We brought some, brought some ragalach and mashka. We had a little mini seum. We invited the <coughs> mashkiach and the Rosh Hashiva to join us. So it was a it was a Chappelle's equivalent of that. It was that's what I wanted to share with you today. And uh, God willing, uh, we'll um, we'll next week also do a Pesach related topic. Be well, everybody.